Welcome to Series 19 of the Lama Tugudu Tournament. I am Eric, aka a new player, and I am the organizer of this tournament. This is a best of three series, and a team that wins two games will win this series. We have Unvax Chats, Unvaccinated, and Strike, versus Rifle Riders, Rootline, and Robler. The global bands are the Swedes and the Portuguese. Both teams are not allowed to play the Swedes and the Portuguese for the entire series. The map of the first game is predetermined, which is Cascade Range. For Unvax Chats, Unvaccinated has chosen the Ottomans and Strike has chosen the British. For Rifle Riders, Root Line has chosen the French and Robler has chosen the Dutch. Let's get started. Alright, this is Series 19, Game 1. Right, spawning at 12 o'clock, we have Rootline playing as the French and his teammate, Robblern playing as the Dutch. On the upper side of the map, we have uh, Strike playing as the British and his teammate, Unvaccinated playing as the Ottomans. This map is Cascade Range. Uh, there are some native settlements, you can make some skirms, and you can also make some pikes from these natives. Uh, there's two pawns, on, one on the top, one on the bottom. You do some sea booming. There's some fish, you gather food from it. But unfortunately, there aren't any wells. This map has a lot of these tiny treasures containing 20 to 30 coins. There's also some uh, these 40 food treasures as well. Alright, let's check their. Uh, before we go into the decks, uh, this map has very limited resources. There's only a few hunts and there's some berry bushes. The coin mines here are 10 mines. So the regular coin mines are 2k coin. These are 100, oh sorry, 1,500 coin each. So you will deplete your natural resources very quick on this map. So that's why map control is very important. All right, let's check. Uh, this is strike stack. Strike playing as a British. I think he's going sea booming. He's got the fish market. He's also got some caravels and frigate. He might go infantry. Musketeer, he's got triple musketeer cards. Also a longbow card. And let's see his teammate. His teammate unvaccinated. Mmm, a mix of units, I guess. He might go FF or FI to do some timing push. Okay, he's starting off with a mosque and a hunting dogs with a market. Yeah, because normally uh, Ottomans would like to have a TP start. But this map doesn't have a trading post. These only have these native trading posts, so that's why he put a church instead. The church also gives a 0.8 per second experience trickle. Alright, let's check the other team. Rob Learn playing as a Dutch. He's aging up with the Quartermaster, 400 wood. Pretty standard deck. I think he's going skirmishers. He's got triple infantry. Upgrade cards plus the advanced arsenal, so that's four. Yep. And then his teammate Rootline. Agent of the governor. So with the one outpost wagon and 200 coin age of. He's going calf. Triple calf card, upgrade cards. We? Oui. Starting off with the hunting dogs. 
Alright, let's see if there will be any four bases. Alright, they've scouted and vaccinated its four uh, base villager. And there's kind of a fight. We? I don't think the villagers should engage in battle. Like, it's wasting villager seconds. You won't be able to kill it, you know, it has a, like, almost full health back ago. Yeah, I, I think he should do some break, uh, herding or gather resources, that will be more valuable. Alright, so Strike's team are being very aggressive, using their explorers to snare each of the opponent's explorers. Alright, Blue Lion's wagon is AFK. Alright, so Root Lion is home basing. His his, he's not building a stable, he's building a wax. He's not going calf. So I think he's going he's going musketeers, okay. So the musketeers and the Rubbler hasn't built anything yet. We don't know. Okay, he's building banks. Okay. Let's check on the other side. Okay, so unvaccinated is going Delhi, so he's got a stable. And strike, he's got a racks up. So I guess maybe Delhi and Musks. Okay, Delhi's going in. What is your command? Okay. Strike hasn't dropped down the dock yet. Yes, sir. Okay, he's going yes, pikes. Kill the envoy, so uh, Rob Learn won't be able to get line of sight in the middle of the map. Great, okay, so the explorer has scouted some villagers exposed. Okay, good pathing here. I mean, sorry, well. Bad pathing for Delvis, but good for Robler. So this is like a wall, very good, using the trees as the wall. Okay, the pack's going in. Trying to siege down the house to pop Dutch. Okay, Rootland got some musketeers, they need to get a melee. Good micro there. Unvaccinated hasn't noticed yet. It's not free cav. I think, yeah, I think unvaccinated. That's not worth it. It's just giving the delis for free. Alright, Robler needs to start spamming skirmishers to deal with the pikes. Alright, so Strike is going full pike. I guess. Okay, now switching to longbows, alright. Okay, unvaccinated building walls. Maybe he's expecting the French to raid him. Let's see, that's what Red Line is doing. He's hurting stuff, he's got a... Okay, so this is for the line of sight. Very good. Next to the berry bushes, and also the trees. Alright, robler has got three banks up, good. Okay, so he sent the Irish Brigadier, this is a musk card. They get promotions by... They get buffed if they kill units. Alright, so will they counter push? We? Oui. Alright, they spotted some longbows in the middle. Oui. Oui. 
think not enough skirms. How many skirms does he have? Only 10, that's not enough. But they can still fight, it's only pikes. Even the musketeer is gonna take care of the pikes. Alright, building a fourth bank. Using the wagon, okay. The market is not building. Very good position here. I like it. Walls. Commando. Yeah. Clar. Yeah. Clar. Right, let's check what the other side is doing. Maybe the other team is aging up. Okay, the other team is massing as well. It's got some apis, longbows, and some pikes. Okay. And now Strike is transitioning to do some fishing. He's got 44 vills. Alright, let's remove the fog of war. Oh, both sides haven't caught, haven't seen the other yet. Okay, they see it. You see the units on the side. Alright, now we fight. Very good. Two fox doing a timing push. Yes, commandment. Yes, nice retreat there. They couldn't fight that. Commandment. Get a root line building a TC in the middle of the map to gain line of sight. I think maybe he could build it. I don't know. There seems to look like nothing is here, only the hunt. Alright, cannons need to get in. Yes, fire mode. Oh, he should shoot the TC. If he shoots the TC, he gets four times more damage than usual when it's under construction. Good, nice. Okay, and Rob Learn is moving as well as up to the front, expanding his territory. Alright, they should continue to push with this tempo, this momentum with two fox. Alright, okay. They should get in fire mode. Oh, they're getting blocked by the trees, the cannons. Lombo sniping the Irish Brigadiers. Okay, the Apos are separated. Alright, Musk's charging in, getting some free shots. Okay, the strike is sending his villagers up to the front. I guess to tank damage? Or is that a misplay? What is he doing? I think this is a misplay. Like, he is not revolting. He's definitely not revolting. He's still in H2. Alright, Pike's in cover mode. Nice! Curiouser on the cannons. Alright. I think the Pike could just go in and then... Snipe the cannons. Yeah. And these cannons need to get work on the infantry. Okay, it was doing a lot of work. Melting down the musketeers. Alright, 
Votre ordre. All right, I think oui. Rootline needs to switch Votre to Cav. They got double skirms on the other side, Avis and Longbows. Oui. Switching to maybe Curseers. Yeah, he doesn't need skirmishers. Robler can make skirmishers himself. Okay, both sides have their TC in this spot. So there might be a little fight here. Oh, uh, this stable. Yeah, he should have built it back. He's gonna lose the stable and also TC. Hopefully. Alright, root line trying to save his TC from getting siege. And then Bastion able to use his TC to send a Miniman to do some siege damage while assembling destruction. On this side, the TC is down to less than half health. And Unvaccinated has, I think, two cannons. Alright, good. Rootline and Robler are separated. They need to regroup. Alright, I think, yes, unvaccinated team is trying to siege this TC down to secure the resources on this side, to secure this coin mine and this hunt. This TC will buy time for Robin's team. Because it takes a while. So Roblern is switching to Hus and Reuters. I think Dutch could like make some culverins. They should be very rich in coin. Let's see what Roblern is up to. I mean, he could use the rotors to snipe. Yeah, that works. But that will be very risky. He's got 26 rotors. Okay, that should be enough to snipe the Balkanets. Balkanets are down to around half health. Nice job, Skirmisher is melted down the Cavalry Archer, the good units. Yeah, I think Brute Lion needs to switch to Cav. So many skirms, double skirms, longbows and Aeos guns. Alright, Hus charging in. Pike's going in as meat shield to tank damage. I think the rotors could kite the pikes and then snipe the falcons. Whether he's on the wrong side. Root line using his French bills to tank damage in the front line. Or I think Robler needs to snipe these falcons. These are exposed. Yes, finally, first batch of Cursiers. I think he needs to like mass at least a batch more and then charge it. Good, Robler is switching to Hussars as well. Yes. At this point they the other team lack anti-cavs, so if you go cav hard on them, 
it will change the uh, tide of the fight. This strike is continuing to see boom on the other side. Oops, pawn sees got question quotes. Let's check. Let's check the other's team. Strike is up to 78 bills, including fishing boats. 49 yes. bills, 29 fishing boats. Very healthy, eco. Yes. He still isn't at full pop yet. But he's stuck in age 2. He should age up. Yeah, yeah, see him canceling the bishop, the TC. Let's see, vaccinated is at 42 bills. He's got 27 Avis, 2 Falconets, 13 Goons. The Curacier is getting a snare. Uh, almost, almost got the bills. All of them are evenly at low health. Cruiser is as strong because of the splash damage. So that's why when they hit once, the units around the target being attacked will also receive damage. So that's why damage is almost like evenly split among the villagers. Okay, so they're regrouping. Vaccinated got the Manchus. This is from the card, H3 card. These are good mercenaries. Okay, so Strike and is using his long post to poke the enemy with his longer range. The Falconers are not doing work. <laughs> huh. Alright, good using the pikes as a mid shield to block the hus pathing. Yeah, but all the hus is dead. Yeah, I think it's almost GG. Yeah, Root Lines team definitely need a cap over They have lost map control and they need to switch to farming. They're are getting slowly starved to death. You know, plenty of resources. You can see the villagers' idols. I think it's GG.
Yeah, I think the problem with Fruitline Steam is they didn't have Cav and the Cav switch early enough. If they have switched earlier, then it might be a different outcome. Right, strike with the sea booming, getting the most resources. The skirmishers and Avis doing the most damage, killing the most units. <laughs> strike, I don't know if it was intentional, using the villagers to fight in the front line. And then these two drops, I think, are from the fishing boats. He just deleted the fishing boats. Okay, there we go. That's game one. Unvax Chats has won game one. The losing team Rifle Riders gets to pick a team ban for Unvax Chats, which is the British. Unvax Chats is not allowed to play the British for the entire series. However, this team ban does not affect Rifle Riders, and they are free to play the British if they want to. Rifle Riders also gets to pick a map from the map pool for the next game, which is Yukon. In the next game, for Unvax Chats, Unvaccinated has chosen the Dutch, and Strike has chosen the Ottomans. For Rifle Riders, Rootline has chosen the United States, and Robler has chosen the Germans. Let's get started. Okay, so this is game two of series 19. Orders. At 3 o'clock, we have Rootline playing as the United States. His teammate Rob Learn playing as the Germans. On the other side of the map, we have Vaccinated playing as the Dutch, and Strike playing as the Ottomans. <sighs> Sorry. This map is Yukon. There's a train post line across the middle of the map. On, on the other side, there is a lot of treasures, and there's also two native trading posts. You can make skirms. Also, on the other side, the coin mines are worth 5k gold. So, you will eventually run out of natural resources on the right hand side of the map. So, then you need to transition onto the left hand side and expand there to gather natural resources. Okay, there's a fight here. And the envoy is dead. Hello, oh, it's alive. Okay, let's check their decks. Strike. So I think he's going to mix up units again. Vaccinated, going skirms, very standard deck. Got some Bosniaks and Swiss Pikes, Irish Brigadiers. And then root line. He's going FF, he's got 10 cards in H3. I think he has the. Yeah, he's got the free galleon guns. And the coffee mill guns, so I think you will spam Galen guns. Yeah. Rob learn. I think he's going calf. Maybe war wagons in H3. So war wagon and Galen guns would be a nice combo. Let's go some Pandurs. Boss next again. Bereit. All right, let's see if they have any fort base. Very good, working together using their cracks to focus down the polar bears. Going with the quartermaster. 
Hello. doing some herding. Nice. Hello. Maybe he could herd these two back to his base as well. Bereit. Let's check root line. Agent of Delaware. Yes. Hello. Oh, these wills are exposed. He needs to herd ASAP. And also the second one. This is Hello. one herd, this is the second herd. And let's check the other team. Strike. Salam. He's got a mosque. He's got hunting dogs. He's got a TP. Very good start. Corner master age up. Good, so I'm herding it back. It's pretty exposed in the front. Yeah. Yes, good herding. Herding towards the TC. Let's check unvaccinated. It's got one bank down. Same with your wood. Hello. Very good. The the hunts are all Hello. near the TC. Very good job. The best so far yeah. among all the four players Hello. to herding. Good wall, using the fence as a wall, and using the TC as well, the house. Very, very good. Defensive. Yes, I like it, yes. Hello? The coin mine could act as a wall as itself, because you cannot walk Climb. past it. Okay, so Strike is going... Delis? Yeah, he sent five bills there. Let's check the other side. Seven so hundred coin. Yes, he's about to age up. He clicked the age up on Kentucky. Yes. These wills are still exposed. He needs to hurt this at least, and this one. Okay, so Robin, okay, good. Using these as a wall. Maybe this market could be placed here would be better, I guess. But it's alright, it's alright. This hurt needs to be herded, this hunt. It's got TP down, good. Germans, they have a penalty to get. Oops, let's see. Yeah, I was saying that uh, German, unlike other sevs, they have a penalty in receiving experience to get. The enchantments, so getting a TP will kind of nullify that. Okay, Delhi is trying to catch the Ulans. They're engaging combat. Delis are so strong. One Delhi for three Ulans, you know. Sending the Russian American company. Two blockhouses plus 40% gather work rate for other animals. Orders? Oh, they. Yes. Careful. Is your yeah, the delis will melt these down. These are yes. skirmishers, the sharpshooters. What is your command? Oh, they're getting wiped out. Delis are very very strong in this patch. Yes. Alright, these Hello, wagons yes. need to watch out. Yes. Need to secure Hello. resource yes. places. Hello. Orders. Hello. Orders. Oh. Yeah, he needs to pull back. No, no, no. What is he doing? Okay, pull back. Yes. Okay, root line suddenly the galling guns. So his teammate is still in H two. Okay, he's in H three. So what will he make to defend the Gallon Guns? Nice, got one build there. Like 
Freak Allen guns out. I think War Wagon is the best shot. Yeah, War Wagons. War Wagons and Gallon Guns. That will be very strong pattern push. The War Wagons could deal with the Delis, and the Gallon Guns could deal with the Dutch Skirmishers. Yeah, if one of the Flaw Cops was put here, it would be better, I guess. But it was it was quite difficult at that point because there was a lot of delis when the wagons are out. Just got some wood exposed on the front line. That's a uh, could have been a misplay if the enemy is pushing at this time. <laughs> Setting one thousand wood. What is he using that for? Blood and TCs. Ready to fire. Yes. All right. Taking map control. This TC will secure this hunt and also the trees. Orders. Hello. Yes. This TC will secure all three resources: the hunt, the coin mine, and also the surrounding trees. Very good. It'll take more than that to keep me down. Yes. All right. This card also upgrades the units, the the musks, and the, also the skirms. What is your command? Orders. At attention. All right. So this is a very strong time yes. push. Uh, ten minutes. Ready to yes. fight. He's got musks, I'm got ready. skirms, he's got cali guns. They got uh, war wagons. Make that those guns doing work on the artillery foundry. Where am I gonna snack one villager? Oh, there's some. We spotted some carcasses. He could just try to harass the enemy villagers. Okay, they have retreated around. Alright, so unvaccinated skirmishers are slowly yes. chipping away the regulars. Ready to fire. Galen guys need to... Okay, so... Yeah, it's fine. So it's just slowly pushing. Slowly sieging down the houses, so... This will pop strike from making any units. That's good. Careful, don't get poked by the skirmishers. Gatgun's doing beautiful work. Got one down. <laughs> Alright, sending more musks. Got another house down. Some raids, counter raids. You don't need to send damage, that's like 20 calf on free ULANs. Right, the war wagons need to watch out. <laughs> There's a lot of delis on the side. Okay, so how will Strike react? Okay, he's sending two Falks. Okay, that will work. Just need to be careful. Okay, so pop it out. More guys need to snipe. Okay, so that's traded one gallon gun for two Falks. Sending Winner Man. That was a bit late. We should like send him that when the valves pop out at the same time. Okay. Also, getting popped, the TC cannot sp spam the villagers on its own. 
So the guy guns are doing a lot of work. Very, very good in containing Strax economy and also military production. Getting some shots on skirmishers. Lulan is harassing the bulls on the back. TC is down to a third of itself. Maybe Ulan's charging in. Pathing issue. Okay, Skirmisher is charging in as well. That's a huge skirm mass. That's 58 skirms. Okay, boss next. There's like Chanakos, but the mercenary version. Yeah, the pathing issue, they're getting stuck. Delhi's using themselves as meat shield to block off. Good. Vaccinated using the trees again to block off the pathing. Alright, this skirmisher mask could like kite both the musketeers and also the ball wagons. So Root Lines team needs some calf or continues to have cannons. There's some delis trying to sneak from behind. They strike switching to Abus. Oh, the TC is down to this Afraid of his health. Still alive. Okay, so Strike's team have successfully held out. Okay, so Root Line is building an artillery foundry. Okay, so he's going to start making Galling Guns, I guess. Sending 1,000 coin to spend those gallon guns. I'm ready. Hello. Oh, the villas are exposed. Yes. Yes. Nah, he won't make it. I think Root Line made the same mistake again. Like, when you're losing the front line, you should build your. Second base far from the front line, you know, they could just steamroll you. Yeah, that's a misplay now. Those need to pull back. No. I'm ready. Uh, I think the Ulas could do some raiding, like instead of idling right here. This is going down. Oh, that's 24 bells. That's a huge. That's huge if he loses this. Not good. Evacuating them to safety. But he's also lost his enti almost entire infantry mass. He should repair his TC. More wagons are dying for free. This is not micro. What is going on, Robin? Something wrong with Robin. Yeah, he disconnected. Uh, 
Uh, did you guys get disconnected? Uh, yeah, no, I I disconnected, but I, I think we'll take the loss. Uh, like, it's too late to reload. Eh? I took all of his eco too, so I thought that we would have won that. So, based on the uh, villager grab. Yeah. So, so what's next then? Now we. As you can see from game 2, Rob Learn was disconnected from the game. I was the moderator for this game and I have asked everyone to reload their game from the save file. However, Rifle Riders have made the decision to take it as a loss and there was no need to reload the game. So this means that Unvax Chats has won game 2. Congratulations to Unvax Chats for winning this series. They will advance in the loser's bracket. Uh, we thank Revel Riders for their participation in the Lorma tournament.